Hello everyone, this is Kanish, and in this video, I'll be talking about the sun. So what is the sun, and where is it located? Well, the sun is a star. The reason it looks bigger than other stars is because the sun is closest to us. It is almost perfectly spherical, and consists of hot plasma interwoven with magnetic fields. It is located at the center of our solar system, and is an average distance of approximately 150 million kilometers away from Earth. How was the Sun formed? The Sun formed 5 billion years ago. It formed when a large cloud of gas and dust fell together because of the gravity. The gas collected at the center and got very hot and dense, and this made the Sun. Some of the gas and dust remained, and this created other planets. How big is the Sun? The sun is very big. In fact, it is the largest object in our solar system. It has a circumference of about 43,699,576 miles. It has a volume of about 1.409 times 10 to the power of 18 miles square. The sun is so big that it could fit 109 Earths just around it. The sun is also very heavy. It weighs around 2 times 10 to the power of 30 kilograms. That is basically 2 with 30 zeros after it. The sun's weight accounts for over 99.86% of the entire solar system's mass. How hot is the sun? The sun is very hot. The core of the sun can reach up to 27 million degrees Fahrenheit and the surface can reach up to 10 million degrees Fahrenheit. Because the sun is so hot, it is also the reason that it emits a lot of light and a lot of heat. What is the sun made of? 74% of the sun is made of hydrogen, while 24% is made of helium. The remaining 2% consists of oxygen, silicon, and many other heavy elements such as iron. However, 2% of the sun's mass is not little. In fact, it is more than 6,000 times heavier than the Earth's. There are three main layers in the sun. The core, the radiative zone, and the convective zone. The core is in the center of the sun and is also the hottest part of the sun and of the solar system. The core generates all of the sun's heat. The core is made of hot, dense gas in the plasmic state. The core generates 99% of the fusion power of the sun. The radiative zone is where energy is transported to the surface of the sun. Matter in the radiation zone is so dense that photons can travel only a short distance before they are absorbed or scattered by another particle. This is why it takes an average of 171,000 years for gamma rays to leave the radiation zone. The convection zone is a region of turbulent plasma between the star's core and its visible photosphere at the surface, through which energy is transferred by convection. In the convection zone, hot plasma rises and cools as it nears the surface. It then falls to be heated and rise again. The sun's atmosphere has three main layers, the photosphere, the chromosphere, and the corona. The inner layer of the sun's atmosphere is called the photosphere. In Greek, photosphere means sphere that makes light. When you look at the sun, you see the photosphere. The second layer is called the chromosphere. It is 2,000 kilometers deep and sits on top of the photosphere. In Greek, chromosphere means sphere of color. It can only be seen in the solar eclipse. This is because the light of the photosphere overpowers the light of the chromosphere. The chromosphere emits a reddish pinkish light. The third and final layer of the Earth's atmosphere is called the corona. In Latin, it means crown. It is the faintest out of all the other layers in the atmosphere. It can only be seen in a complete solar eclipse when the other layers cannot be seen. It looks like a white halo around the sun. There are many features on the sun. 
One of these features is called sunspots. They can be seen on the photosphere. Sunspots are dark spots in the sun. They look dark because the gas is cooler than the rest and the cooler gas emits less light. The amount of sunspots vary from year to year. Some scientists believe that the amount of sunspots can change because of short-term climate changes on the Earth. Others believe that it could be, could be related to the amount of energy the sun emits. Scientists do not know and need to make more observation to test these theories. Another feature is called prominences. Prominences are reddish loops of gas that connect sunspots. Prominences can reach up to 10,000 degrees Celsius. Scientists do not know how or why solar prominences are formed. Another feature is called solar flares. Solar flares occur when the energy heats up to millions of degrees in Celsius. This causes a solar flare, which is basically an explosion. Solar flares can create solar winds in the corona atmosphere, and this can create magnetic storms on the Earth's atmosphere. This can also disrupt signals and create electrical power problems. There are many scientists that have studied the sun and have helped us gain our knowledge on it. Here are a few examples. This is Aristarchus. Aristarchus was the first person who suggested that the sun was in the center of our solar system. He also placed the planets in the correct order away from the sun. This is Galileo Galilei. He discovered sunspots and was also the first to observe them and present his findings. This is George Hale. George Hale discovered that sunspots have localized magnetic fields. This helped explain the phenomenon present in the sun. Why is the sun so important? The sun is very important for many re different reasons. One reason is that it gives light and heat to the earth, which makes it possible for life on earth. Also, because of its gravity, it keeps all the planets in orbit. This also prevents planets from hitting each other. Also, the sun makes many elements that we use and need in our everyday lives. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned a lot about the sun.